there are conflicting opinions about how long you should rest between sets for muscle growth. Some believe you should rest very little to keep the workouts intense, whereas others rest longer to maximize performance. In this video, I will discuss the science behind rest intervals. This will hopefully help you make more informed decisions about how long you should rest between sets to gain muscle. If we look at old school exercise textbooks, usually the recommended rest intervals fall anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds. The idea that short rest periods are beneficial for muscle growth is primarily based on the finding that short rest increases growth hormone levels, also known as HGH. In a 2009 study, researchers found that when trained males rested one minute between sets instead of three minutes, their HGH levels increased tremendously for up to two hours. But just because human growth hormone increases for a few hours, does not mean shorter rest intervals are better for muscle growth. First of all, HGH has a weak relationship with muscle growth. Human growth hormone is mostly involved in building up connective tissues, which is the tissues that attach muscle to bone. But when it comes to actual muscle gain, HGH plays a less important role here. Next to this, temporary increases in anabolic hormones do not increase muscle growth, even if you temporarily increase testosterone. Changes in anabolic hormones can only influence muscle growth if these changes occur over the longer term. Just think about it, the catabolic stress hormone cortisol also increases after training. But we know this isn't harmful because it's not a long-term change, it's just a temporary spike. The same holds true with human growth hormone and testosterone. Fluctuations in these hormones mean very little. So instead of picking a rest period that maximizes your growth hormone or testosterone, we should go for rest periods that maximize what actually matters for muscle growth. Training volume. Training volume is the main driver of muscle growth. There are several ways you can define volume, but the most practical one in this context is to define volume as total reps times sets times weight. Up to a certain point, research shows a positive relationship between volume and muscle growth. Having short rest intervals directly impairs the amount of volume you can do in a workout. As a simple example, if you rest 45 seconds between each set of your squat, you'll perform worse than if you were to rest 2-3 minutes between each set. So having longer rest between sets allows you to perform more volume in your training. And if you can perform more volume consistently, you generally also get better training adaptations. And the research tends to support this as well. A 2016 study led by Dr. Schoenfeld randomly assigned 21 trained males to a 1 minute rest between sets and 3 minute rest between sets group. After an 8 week training period, the long rest group gained significantly more muscle than the short rest group. Most likely because the long rest group was able to perform more volume in their training. Another 2009 study had similar findings. In this research, the group that rested 2.5 minutes between sets gained more muscle than the group that rested only 1 minute between sets. Again, this likely was because the long rest group was able to perform more volume. So it's evident that having longer rest periods is beneficial for muscle growth. But exactly how long you should rest also depends on the type of exercises you perform in your training. The goal is to adequately rest so you can perform well again on your next set. On some exercises, you need more rest to recover than others. Compound exercises like deadlifts or the bench press are inherently more fatiguing than exercises like a bicep curl or tricep pushdown. So it's a good idea to rest a bit longer between sets when you perform compound movements and a bit shorter during isolation exercises. A good general rule of thumb is to rest 2-3 minutes between sets on heavy compound exercises and 1-2 minutes on low stress isolation movements. For most people, this should be enough to recover properly and hit it hard again when your next set comes up. But a common concern when it comes to resting longer is that your training time increases drastically. If you have only limited time in the gym but would still like to maximize performance, there are a few training tools that can help you. Training tools I personally use in my training to save time without sacrificing results are supersets and rest pause training. A superset basically refers to alternating between two exercises with minimal rest in between them. A good example is supersetting the bench press with let pull downs. While you train the let pull down, your chest and triceps rest from doing the bench press. While you train the bench press, your back and biceps rest from doing let pull down. Just make sure the exercises you superset do not train the same muscle groups. If you superset the bench press with cable chest flies, your performance will inevitably take a hit. Another training tool you can use to save time is rest pause training. 
The primary reason short rest periods are not beneficial for muscle growth is that they lower your training volume. But to compensate for this, you could also just perform more sets. This is exactly what rest pause training allows you to do. With rest pause training, you take your first set close to failure, rest for about 10 seconds and repeat the process until you reach your volume goal. In the example you see here, we use a 30 rep volume target on the tricep pushdown. Recent research shows that rest pause training is an efficient way to accumulate volume without sacrificing results. Now it is worth mentioning that because of the fatigue you build up when doing rest pause training, that a breakdown in form is pretty common. So I would mostly use this on simpler isolation exercises and not on heavy compound movements like a squat or bench press. So to sum up, if we take all of the points discussed in this video, we can eventually reach a pretty simple conclusion. Long rest periods are more effective than short rest periods because they allow more volume. On heavy compound exercises, aim for about 2-3 minutes between sets. For lighter isolation movements, you can get away with a shorter rest period of 1-2 minutes. But make sure you also monitor how well recovered you feel after a certain rest period. It's always fine to rest a bit longer or a bit shorter if that would suit your recovery better. For times when you are in a rush and would like to reduce your time in the gym, using training tools like supersets and rest pause training help you save time. But that's all for this video. If you found this helpful then leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I also want to quickly mention my email list in which I share useful training and nutrition information on a weekly basis. You can join my free mailing list by visiting the link in my description and I'll be able to share more fitness information with you. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope to see you in the next video.